happily pay her her fees. And now Maria has even been picky about the client she worked with. Uh, look, look, Taps, I did my hair for yesterday's call. That's funny. I'm sorry, Tap. And we didn't even go on. Let me go live, man. What we got going on? I'm sorry, Tap. Hold on. Somebody wants to go live. How's it going? What's going on, man? Yo, I called in. I love your show. I love listening to your podcast. I thank you. To thank my you. Office. It's amazing. Thank you. I just wanted thank to you. share my government contracting experience. Okay. All right. So I started my company in October 2019. Yeah. I was a college student going to school for engineering. I was working for my cousin and he does contracts. So every single, I would go to school, go to school then after I would go to work. And I'm seeing millions of dollars. And I'm just like, oh my God. So right. I just stopped going to school. You're like, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. I like that. I like that. Yeah. I wish I was that smart. I wasn't that smart. <laughs> I finished college. I, I've Yo, never used my degree in my life, but wow. I finished. <laughs> so I, I wish I would. I wish I would have as well. One time I was at this dinner, and well, that's beyond the story. But right. three three months later, I get my first contract. It's a state contract, though. Okay, that's fine. Yeah. But it posed a lot of challenges. It was worth half a million. Yeah. And um, I didn't have any money. I didn't. I right, you're a college student. You're, just good. you're a flunky college student. <laughs> 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 no, nah, but listen. Hey, but I was, I was in the you're like, I was in the military. You're like Mark that. Zuckerberg and Steve Jobs. Yeah, I was in the military, so that helped me a lot, too. All right, okay, okay. Um, so I sold my jewelry. I was like, every, I, oh, man. It's because I was feeding the, the, the uh, catering, the um, cow fire. Okay. And, um, Riverside. Uh-huh. Yeah, so I, I did whatever I had to do. It was crazy. It was okay. Crazy. You pulled it off? Pulled it off. It was supposed to be it was supposed to be for a year. Uh -huh. And we did so good that they extended us for another year. Damn. And, uh, they changed up. They just wrote a new contract. They're like, you guys are doing great. You know, but and I like that because what did you show would you say? Grit, resiliency, you didn't give up. You said, I sold my jewelry. Look, I, I did Barbie everything Barbie I could. Barbie 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 Look at that. Look at my <laughs> man. <laughs> I got me a new chain now. Nah, I got a better chain than the one I sold. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Listen, I love that story, man. That's 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 good stuff, brother. I'm, I'm happy you came on to share that with us today. Thanks. I, I had to share it with somebody. Somebody that would appreciate it, right? Like your family. They don't even understand it. You know, because one thing I tell folks, uh, and as you start getting business, it's true. It is lonely because we don't have people we can talk to that can relate. Um, and I joined an organization called EO. I don't know what your sales are at now, but when you, if you, get, if you do over 250 a year in sales, you can join uh, an organization called EO Accelerator or Entrepreneurs Organization. And it's a lot of business owners like ourselves that we built our own business and we get together and we talk about like stuff that's going on in our business. It's not a, you don't pitch yourself, but you're around like really solid folks in business that are, again, some are at your level, but most are way above you. And that helped pull me through when I had my hard times, my difficult times, because you know, look, you had a good story, but sometimes you might, you might get a rough patch. And oh no, it wasn't around. easy. It wasn't huh? easy. It wasn't like, no, no, it wasn't like this fast forward to this. <laughs> I thought no, no. I was gonna lose it. I had, oh my god, I had tears. Like, imagine asking all my family met. Like, a lot of people helped me, but a lot of people didn't. A lot of people, right? I I so tell me, yeah, what kind of? Oh so what my is your god, family it was like, it was like I reached out to everybody I thought would have my back, and it was just like, no, figure it out. But I did. Yeah. I I found a factory company, and they wouldn't. They they wanted to be signed onto the contract, and nobody like that. That's impossible. You can't right. do that. After I've already signed it, like, they're not going to do that. So I'm trying to negotiate with the factoring company to just let it go. I'm trying to talk to them, like, yo, can we figure something out? I'm trying to right. yeah. just first. So I'm dealing with that, the money. Yeah, of course. And, <clears throat> and, now, and I'm, I'm in an industry that I have I have experience in, but not much. Right, 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 right. I, I, I was an aviation electrician in the military. I'm doing, uh -huh. I'm doing catering now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I study industrial engineering, so... It's the same. Like, That's the same thing I studied in industrial engineering. Yeah. Yeah. Damn. So, That's a good story. I love that story. 
I really, I do. I think, I think everyone on here kind of loves your story. They're like, give me a big up, man. That's good. No, that's, hey. Thank so you. now, where are you going next? What's, what's after this? Oh, um, I just got my first, I, hold on, I just got my first, I was entering my first BPA. Oh, shit. Okay. Yeah, big boy teams, big, big boy. No, oh, BPA now. The, the um, detainees. Mm. Yeah, it's crazy. So you, hey, but you know, a lot of us sit back and we see the contracts and we see it, right? But we, I don't know why people, why, why they won't make the jump? Why they won't make, like, what you okay, did, so. okay, let me ask you this, let me ask you this. How many people said you was crazy? That was what I was gonna say at the dinner. <laughs> Go ahead. How many people say you was so, crazy? So, so I was at the dinner. I had a mentor because you know I, when I got out the military, I was going to school full time um, at University of San Diego for engineering. It was extremely difficult, you know. So I kept switching majors, but I had somebody. She was an older lady. She was a rocket scientist. She stopped doing that. Now she um, she's working on a business. I think for tutoring, which is perfect right now, okay. but. Um, they had like a little um, uh, panel of successful people in San Diego. Okay. And she was one of the people on the panel. You know, right. it's a full crowd, full crowd. Right. And uh, it's, it's, it comes to her to talk. And then she's like, she gets us and says, he's about to drop out. On the panel, in front of everybody. <laughs> no. Because <laughs> I told her, that's what, right before I, I told her that I was like, I'm, going straight for business because I'm telling you, I saw all these millions. So I'm like, you said, nah, man, I got, uh-uh. You're like, nah. <laughs> You're like, nah, bro. You're like, nah. <laughs> but I don't. He said, <laughs> but so after that, I stood up and I was like, yeah, but I just started a business. But at the, at the time, my, my thought process was security. I thought I was going to okay. have a security guard company. Uh -huh. And just went about my day. And some people was like, yo, you're making a good decision. Other people was like, you're making a bad decision either way. I knew it was right. Yeah, but you were young. So, I mean, I always tell you, you're young. What's the, what's the, how can you make a bad decision and you're young? I got plenty of time to figure it out. Yeah. So, but how did you, okay, you didn't tell us the story. How did you get to a catering contract? Okay. So, my mentor. Okay. He has a catering All right. company. All right. Let's go back. Let's go back. How did you get the mentor? Because by the way, I'm not grilling you. These are questions people ask me all the no, time. No, so this is important. This is important. I'm happy because, that you're sharing this knowledge because with I folks share. because they ask those questions to me. So I'm asking you, as a young guy who's getting started, like, how did you get the mentor? Um, it's my cousin. No, that's good. Hey, that's yeah. cool. Yeah. So, but but you know what? Sometimes we have family members with... that we don't even look at, and we we totally dismiss them. No, no, with, 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 um, with him, I, while I was in the military, I was supporting his business. I knew he was going to make it. So throughout the whole way, because I was getting, I was, I was making a lot of money in the military. So you so he reciprocated. You helped him out, looked out for him, and he looked back out for you when you got started. Yeah, yeah. That's what's it's up. Like, yeah, it's like other people could have did it too. Like, they didn't do it. But they didn't do it. You did. It's true. And that's why they don't have what you have. Yeah, it's just getting started. It's, it just, as soon as coronavirus is over, it's over. But hey, anybody in the chat, I'm looking to partner with somebody What's in El Centro that is um, doing meal prep. Meal prep? Yeah. In El Centro? Yeah. All right, listen, do me a favor. I'll, I'll do a better one. Send Maria a message. I'll put it in my, um, I've got 7,000 people on my email list. I guarantee I'll find you somebody before Sunday. Mm. Oh, yeah. Promise you, oh. I'll find you somebody before Sunday. Okay, that's perfect. Perfect. All right, but send it, send in memory at email service at GovCon Giants, and we'll put it on our email list, and then uh, we'll put it out there, and you'll find, we'll find somebody. Perfect. Look, see, we got people already on. I know Missy; she's a good person. I already know Missy. Missy's connected. Uh, she actually, she runs the. Um, what do you call those things? Um, see, I'm not in the military, so I don't go to those those, uh, those facilities. But she runs one out of Atlanta, um, a, a one of those facilities for where the, the, the veteran guys go to. Um, okay. So she's connected. But we can we got people on our list. I mean, anytime someone asks me for like help or assistance, I send it to my list, and it just goes crazy. It goes crazy. Like if they say we don't want a contract in this state, we want a, a, a welder over here, we want a, a, a um, AWS SharePoint developer. Oh, v there she goes. She's VFW commander at Buckhead. 
That's messy. So she's connected. But, but, but I'm not, I'll be honest. I'm, I'm not, catering isn't my main focus. That's not my passion. No. So I don't really want to do that. I know for a fact, though, I want to get into, um, I want to figure out a way to provide COVID tests. I've been mean, trying to reach out to people, like actually provide the service because I've seen contracts for that. Um, mm. And I feel like I could upsell some of my customers now if I have that that um, that capability. I remember watching one of your videos and yeah. you guys mentioned something like that. So yeah, we actually the girl I was talking to today tonight about an hour ago, uh, she's she's got COVID tests that are ninety eight percent accurate and that that you can get results in ten minutes, and she is the distributor. They're already on the FDA's approved list. No. So, oh, my God. In fact, I'm, I already, she's sending me samples. I'm going to send it to my boy out in L.A. who's a doctor out there. Yeah, I'm going to shoot him. Um, I'm going to shoot him that, that as well. Because the way, feel, the way I feel about it is think about it like this. If we could have a controlled area and everybody takes the test, who's uh -huh. sick, they quarantine, and who's not, then at least we can make some steps towards this thing being over, you know, like, that's, you know, that's good thing. I no, I like that thinking. You know what I, what I look at this is if we have a controlled network of people like me, you, and everybody on this chat, that we all share ideas, we can control money and opportunities and keep it inside of In our circle. circle. That's yeah, the way I look at this stuff. So that's why I like and I want to help my people because, hey, you tell me, look, I got this need. All right, I'm going to shoot you. You guys here, bring them in. Bring mm. this one in. Boom. I think yeah. some other people here want to get changed like yours too on the chat. <laughs> <laughs> show up again. Show up again. <laughs> That's my Instagram. If you guys looking for me, bam, kill them. A man kill them out there. Yeah, no, nah, that's hey, look, good story. I really, I really appreciate that. So, but no, we're we're doing that now, and we're collaborating. And as you see, I'm more on the gram now, and before. You know, I was on YouTube and I couldn't get this kind of interaction back and forth, on YouTube yeah. back and forth. It was always a one way conversation. So I really like this now. Um, and it's good because you're the kind of person I want to I, look. I don't want to talk about no, no micro contracts. I don't want to hear about no micro because <laughs> <laughs> it's stress. It's stress. <laughs> look, I keep telling you, I don't want to hear about selling TVs or selling pants. I don't, I don't want to make one penny per pen. But it's a, pra it's, a pra it's a practical thing more than anything. Like you get to the point where the profit is so small, any mistake is extremely big. So you're like thinking Preach. all this stress for, at least if you make a lot of money, you have room for error. Okay, they want to be late. They want to skip hours. People are going to do that. They're going to do all that. There's no way to get around it. So you need to have enough profit in you so you can still do well. Unless it's you want to invest in like, the proper measures, I guess you want to get a security system, people are going to feel weird, or whatever the case is. It's funny you said that, people skipping hours. I was on a call with a guy that I'm partnering with now. He's looking at a job in Guantanamo Bay, and he said, and I did not know this, in Guantanamo Bay, he said every two hours, you have to stop work for 30 minutes for the people, the detainees to pray, because they're Muslim. And I go, wait, y'all uh -huh. stop for detainees? So every two hours, the whole you have to stop working for 30 minutes well what the workers do they stop 30 minutes before the 30 minutes in anticipation of the break so you're going to lose some hours <laughs> <laughs> so, so, i gotta get ready for this break man right like the break's coming up like man don't hey don't start cutting yet the break will be in 20 minutes like you might as well just wait till you know after the break and that's how it goes so going back to what you said is exactly the truth which is like People don't feel it. You lose your time. Any mistake you make, if you only got a, a two hundred dollar profit window, you can listen. The girl just talked to me tonight. Paid a thousand bucks an hour. My forty minute call was seven hundred and forty three dollars. My two hundred dollar profit was gone. <laughs> yep. So you know, it just it just doesn't add up to me. And and. If we're gonna out here do something and you're gonna put all your time and your effort and your brain capacity. You're an engineer, so obviously you're a smart guy, right? Or you were, you know, studying engineer, so that means you have the, the ability to do it. Why not go after something that's tangible, like you said, that's big, that can pay huge dividends, right? That's yeah, kind of yeah. you know, so I'm sure. But and I you put, you're, you're giving you're giving you're giving the you're giving the juice, man. Like I, I went to VIP um in uh Washington, D.C., 
It was uh -huh. amazing. You, you heard of it? VIP Network. Yeah. Yeah. I just yeah. had her on my YouTube last week. Night. Oh, got I gotta check it out. Great yeah. lady. Yeah, I just had her on. Her. I just had her on. We. I did an inter a podcast interview with her uh, on Monday, and I had her on YouTube. It's a small clip, but the podcast will be out in like two months. But I had okay. her on my YouTube. Yeah, Rebecca Maria Lambert, Rebecca. Yeah. So no, nah, nah, listen. I'm connecting all of us together. That's. Yeah. You know, I'm connecting us. But hey, make sure you send Maria that message so we can plug you in. And I've already seen like three or four people on here that that do food prep that can help you out. So uh, you did the right thing. So, all right. That's all right. good. Hey, you got me excited tonight, man. I appreciate You got me fucked up, bro. I, yeah. I, honestly, I get more excited for, for people like you than I get for myself. Yeah, I know the feeling. You know? You know, I get honestly, I get more excited for people like yourself that because I because you know me, I'm like, yo, you guys don't understand. Like, you have to just try. Like, just please, just try for me. <laughs> At least one time, I'll be like, honest. Try. I'll be honest. I wasn't gonna do it the night of the, yo, the night that I was supposed to put the bid in. Yeah. My mentor, my cousin, he called me. He said, yo, you, did you put it in? I was like, nah, because it was really impossible. I had no money. I had. I I didn't know. Oh, listen, on for on Monday, I didn't know how I was gonna pay my rent because I was gonna drop out of school and focus on getting contracts. Right. Friday got the contract, but when I was writing it that night of, because I didn't know it was I was worried about it, but I, that the night of I was up all night because it had to be mailed out. I had to go to the FedEx and get it mailed out on time. Right. Yeah. So. Uh, making sure all my documents were good because it was a lot. It was pretty big. Not really, but it was a lot to do last minute because my cousin called me like, hey, get on it. <laughs> I wasn't going to do it. I was just like, I was scared, to be honest. But that but, push. But let me ask you, what about past me. performance? I I did like catering jobs with um, people that own security guard companies because they have a large mm -hmm. amount of people. Um, even if you go to a church, there's a caring job. I just all you have to do is coordinate that, or you get you get with people with, who have experience, um, and then you can do whatever. And you can hire a consultant. You can do anything in this government contracting. It doesn't matter, right? You just make it. it doesn't matter. <laughs> yeah, just search for a consultant and knows what they have their experience like. And you made it. Right? You made it work. Yeah. So was I that your first? Was that the first thing that you went after? Yep. No. No. I, oh, right before it, I was. I, I, got, I was going after one that was 180, and I bid way too high. But it's the same company. I mean, the uh, same, same, same um, yeah, place. yeah, agency, same agency. Okay. Um, so then, like, uh, so I was, I was bummed. I'll be honest, because it was a lot of, it was a lot of work, like, a lot of documents, a lot of time. I had to get all my paperwork in time. That was the stressful part because I had just started. Like, I was, I was in business for three months at the time. Yeah. Not even. So that was before I got awarded it. So probably like two months. So trying to get coordinated. Like I gotta build my website. I gotta do a whole lot of stuff. It was just back to back, like all day on it. Like so, it was tough. But yeah. next one, I got it. Right. But but this one. But but even though it was tough, you pulled it off, and they gave you a one year extension. Yes. So then now the one year extension. Did they do a modification to your contract? Um, it's in it's in the works. We haven't done it yet. Okay, but they're doing so they're doing modification to your contract. I was wondering what's the best way to negotiate with them to so I can raise the price. Well, on um, you know, most of the time they they allow you to actually do uh, like the same like military cost of living adjustment cost. You know, exactly. They usually allow for that anyways. Yeah. So they 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 normally allow for that stuff. Okay. So just five percent, ten percent, whatever. I, ask, I, I know for a fact if I don't ask for it, it's not gonna happen. If you don't ask, they're not gonna give it to you. Yeah, you know. And I seen on one of your your um your videos, make it simple. Probably make it two lines. That's it. That, yeah. That's it, man. People make this stuff so comp. They want it to be complicated and convoluted, and it doesn't have to be. It saves everybody's time. Wow. But I would love to partner with anybody in this chat, especially you, sir. <laughs> 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 Look, we're gonna we're gonna hook you up with some good people. I promise you, we're gonna connect you with some good people. I love these stories. Um, we're gonna have much more. Look, this is gonna start happening every week. I already know it. 
from what we're doing and the vibes, the energy we're putting out, you coming on sharing and people coming on, this is going to happen more and more often. And more people that look like us are going to be getting contracts and opportunity. So um, I got to see you. Yeah, and I and I thank you for sharing because you could have sat back and just paid and just watched and not came on. So I thank you for that for sharing that as well today. You know that's that was big. Um, and like you said, but but listen, look into the uh, entrepreneurship organization thing, uh, EO. It's called entrepreneurship organization EO. I probably should have came here with a pen already. <laughs> nah, yeah, you're all right. Look, you 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 jump out the plane and, and then figure out about the parachute on the way down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right. You're right. You're right. I know. I already know it. I can. I already. I can. I already know it already. So we'll figure know. it out somehow. We'll figure it out. <laughs> we'll figure it out. But listen, Maria, drop your email in the chat so he can have it, and then um, we'll see if anybody else wants to jump on before we. Minus group keeps putting his email in there, so hit him up. See what's uh what he's talking about. And I know we've got some people that are already out there on the West Coast. So uh, Missy, she's 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 she can help out some things. So I appreciate you. Peace. Oh, Thank there you. It is. <laughs> All right, be good. Yeah, you too. Yeah. Man, listen, that was good. I like that. That was that was that's a good. That's a good Thursday call. I was actually hungry and I didn't eat, but I, you know what? I'm happy I stayed on. So good stuff, man. Good stuff. I'm excited to hear the young man, they, like, you know, young Mark Zuckerberg dropping out of college, launching his business. For all of you who didn't catch that, young man dropped out of college. He was still in the military and then launched his business in October 2019, won his first contract. Oh, I'm racing Wednesday. See, I don't even know what day it is. I'm just going. Uh, <laughs> Thank you, Maria. See, Maria has to even remind me what day we're on and put this stuff on my calendar. But yeah, good story. Good story. Good. I, 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 that was good. I, I like that story. It's good stuff. What else? What else? By the way, um, sometimes people ask me, like, hey, uh, a book about government contracting that is good. Uh, this is actually a book that I like. I'm not being paid to say this. In fact, Judy doesn't even know I'm promoting her book. But uh, Government Contracts Made Easier by Judy Brack. This is actually a really good book. And for anybody who's looking, who wants to learn about federal contracting, she, uh, I think I have an old edition because, you know, I've had this stuff a long time. But um, this is a really, as you can see, look, I have a lot of notes and st stick tours and stuff in it. That's a really good book. Um, Definitely for those who are interested in learning about government contracting, uh, Julie Bratt does a really good job of breaking it down. And uh, hopefully one day in the future, near future, we will be able to have her on talking to folks out there. <clears throat> so I know her and I have already, she, we've chatted on LinkedIn about doing something together, but she's a smart lady. Yes, Maria, GovCon launch. It's not out yet, but my book, we're, we're finishing it up. It's going to be pretty good as well. So I'm happy about it. Missy Tarver, I wish I'd found you while I was on active duty. Yeah. Well, hey, look, listen, it's never too late for any of us to get started. Colin, start reading Judy Bratt's book. Cool. Yeah. No, listen, it's never too late for any of us to get started out here. Um, I did bring a couple other books that I thought were good. This one I read a long time ago. It's called Secrets of the Millionaire Mind by T. Harv Ecker. Uh, again, I'm, I'm, these are old books. Like, you know, these are old books, but uh, they're good, man. They're really, like, some of this stuff is powerful. I'm going to say, like, for example, here, out of this book, and it says, on T. Park Ecker's book, Secret of a Millionaire Mind, uh, he says, I choose to get paid based on my results, right? And that's, that's, that's the difference, is that a lot of folks want to get paid for their time, right? And so that's the poverty mindset. It's getting paid for your time, not based on your results. What, what I say in the very beginning of this is find wealthy people, identify what are their problem areas, and help them solve their problem. So that, that's, that makes all the difference in the world. If you, want, you, know, if you listen to the young man's story you just talked about, he said, look, I had to figure it out. I had no money. 
I dropped out of school. I couldn't, I wasn't about to, I couldn't pay my rent the next month. And then Friday I got the contract. So um, it's funny here, another quote out of this book it says, rich people are almost always excellent promoters. They can are willing to promote their products, their services, their ideas with passion and enthusiasm. What's more, they're skilled at packaging their value in a way that's extremely attractive. So what I'm saying, again, all of you out here have the ability. We all have the ability. I mean, if you haven't already seen Wesley, the 6 year old who's doing contracts, we're about to bring on um, someone that worked with us who's 23 years old. He has five contracts already. So I, I, you're not, you cannot tell me that there's a reason why that you are on the other side of this watching do not have contracts. You can't tell me that. When I have 16-year-olds doing it, I have 23-year-olds doing it, I have people dropped out of college doing it, I have ex-kindergarten teachers doing it, you can't tell me. Um, it, it just, I can't, I can't fathom why, uh, unless you're just not trying. That's the best, that's the best thing I can do is, uh, you know, it's like, look, you have to try out here. So look, we're giving you all the tools. We're giving you the resources. Um, I know a lot of people are talking about my course, but look, again, like I said, I have a lot of content already that's everywhere out here that you could go out and start learning this stuff. Uh, what was the gentleman's name who was on in California? Uh, I don't remember, to be honest with you. He was, somebody else might remember it. So, you know, like I said, I mean, we've got five minutes left on here. Does anybody have anything else that they want to touch on, talk about? That was really, that was really powerful call. I'm, I'm like, he's got me pumped up. I, I don't know, I'm not even hungry no more. <laughs> fear, don't let fear stop you from taking action. I agree. Uh, you know, and then it's funny because a lot of folks say, I don't have good credit. I don't have money. And what did he say? He didn't have, he didn't have money. What did he tell you? And I, and I, and I share the story of the, uh, Stephanie, and it's in our group, who started her janitorial business. And she didn't have any money. And she got started. So, I, like, I, I think that it's just too easy to sit back and to make excuses and not try and make an effort. I think it's just much easier. As a matter of fact, the person I talked about fear, this is one of the bracelets that I wear, which is, you know, master fear, conquer life. So it's funny because I actually, I keep this on. This is one of our GovCon Giants bracelets that we keep that. Actually, when we're doing our meet and greet this year, we're going to give people bracelets. We have different bracelets we're going to give. Um, so, but because of COVID, it got canceled, got shut down. Uh, yes, this will be replayed. I'm going to put it in our series on IG. So you will be able to watch this replay. If you're just joining us now, you just missed a really powerful conversation with a young entrepreneur who dropped out of school, college, and he won his first contract out in California doing meal prep. And he's now getting that contract extended. And he just won another BPA for catering. He's looking for uh, to partner with meal prep companies. So great story. He took up about 35 minutes of the conversation. Um, go back and watch it, you know, if you missed this episode tonight. So Karen, thank you for commenting on the book. I just want to give a shout out. Uh, I love your comments. I love your feedback on the new book. It was good. In fact, I did today, I went and did my trademark for the name. So I did. Thank you, Karen. Uh, I did actually did that today. I trademarked the name. I, well, I sent the application in to do the trademark. I'm waiting on to see if it gets approved. But I, yes, I did do that. Um, so, all right, Tiff and companies. Uh, what's the difference between your courses that we offer? Maria can answer any questions about it. Uh, send you an email about that. But basically, um, she'll, you know, call Maria. She'll talk to you. Maria, you see uh, Tiff and Companies in there? Hit her up and she'll talk to you about it. Yeah, Karen, no, it's cool. Um, I'm excited. I, and, and the thing was, is so, you know, like, and I told Maria this. Uh, I remember a long time ago, Robert Kiyosaki says that this lady had this really nice, well-written book. And he says, do you want to have a well-written book as opposed to a best-selling book? 
And so for me, I was like trying to put out the content, put the information out, put it out. Wait, wait, hold on, wait, wait. Tab, why you said poor Maria? I want to know why Tab said poor Maria. That's what I want to know. Uh, <laughs> but so for me, Karen, what I was like, okay, I gotta get this content, get this stuff on the page and um, get it out there so we can start reviewing it, so. <laughs> Missy's like, you're just trademarking it? Well, it's my, it's the new book, Missy. So don't beat me up. It's the new book that I'm trademarking the name for the new one that's not out yet. That's all, it's just the name for the new book. So don't worry. Okay. Um, but going back to Tab, why you said? Oh, you'd be throwing everything at her. Don't worry, Tab. Maria has some help. She has some. By the way, Tab, I've been I've been telling Maria for the better part of one year. Maria, you better tell you better get this right. I've been telling her for the better part of one year. Bring up. Oh, by the way, I'm gonna, I'm gonna save this conversation for that. Tab, we uh, the fortune builders thing. We're going there. That's we're going there. Uh, I've been looking at it. That's where we're headed. So um, that's where we're headed. We're actually, um, if you want, we're, we're actually, we're bringing, we have four people that are going to be coaches. Uh, and if, you know, if you want, we can put you as a coach as well. So we're headed. That's where we're headed. We're, we're setting that up. No, don't worry, Missy. Missy, look, I've got it already. I, I have, we have, we, we I think, 22 people agreed to review the book. I think nine people reviewed the book. So I have 279 comments. Uh, I think between those 279 comments, you know, it will have it pretty much covered. So um, don't worry. We, you know, I'm, I, I actually have it up on my computer right now to work at. Uh, but yeah, no, Tab, that was a good look. That was a good look. Listen, all people have been giving me great ideas and, and, and how we can grow and develop and that's why we need help. Listen, we need help. Uh, uh, you know, we need help. We really need help, Tab. We need help bad. We every day someone comes to us with a deal. This is what I'm showing folks. Like, these are all people that want to work with us and partner with us. Like, these are all deals that I'm looking at. Um, that I'm like trying to figure out who do I want to work with and how, and what capacity, and how much to charge, and all this kind of stuff. So. Tab, we need help. I'm crying out like we need help. 